Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's your fellow sneakerhead, Don South Player 73. Come back with this another quick pickup. Uh, as you may not be able to tell, it's actually another 2015 release. Uh, when I seen pictures last year, I thought they were re retroing this shoe or remastering this shoe. I knew I, I wanted to get it, I knew it was a must cop. I can't really say that too much about these new releases, but this one I knew I had a cop. Um, I just wish they would have done it in the whole 30th anniversary boxes with your black box with the gold little hits on it. That would have been real perfect for me. But nonetheless, um, they would tell you to go with this normal Air Jordan 4 box from last year. So let's just get into it. As you can see, their label is going to read Air Jordan 4 Retro LS, LS standing for lifestyle. And the colorway is going to read black, tech gray, black. Retail is going to be 190 This is a remastered, so the price tag is supposed to reflect the, the, high, uh, the high quality or whatever went into it, the higher material. Let's get into it. And there you go. It's going to be the Air Jordan 4 in Oreo slash gray, gray, uh, take gray. Now, when I got this shoe, I had to ask myself, was the price increase really worth the shoe? And having it in hand, my honest opinion, I would say no. Uh, Jordan Brand did step it up a notch in the quality and the materials used. But it's still, I just don't think 190 justifies it. There's a few pairs out there that have flaws. I, I purchased two pairs, one for me and one for my homeboy. And I know that one of them there was a, had more glue stains. This one had less glue stains, but this one does have a little bit of flaws here and there. You can see a little bit of glue here on the side. And I don't think it was this one. This one actually looked like the laces. Something happened to the laces right here. I don't know if you can see it. It kind of looks like they... um. They kind of got torn or something. I can't really explain it. But for the 190 mark, you would figure that they would take their time making them, making them perfect, because you're paying the the premium premium dollar now. So you would think you'd get a perfect shoe, but it still comes with its flaws. Now the material on it is a lot nicer, but still 190. I, I just doesn't justify it for you would think you would be getting. But nonetheless, regardless, I still wanted the shoe, being an OG colorway, the Oreo. Couldn't get it back when it first released, so I'm most happy to get it now. Uh, all it is is just a nice tumble leather upper with, instead of nading, they went with a perforated on the leather also. On the side and on the tongue, just perforated. And your normal speckling on the bottom and on the, the little, the little uh, laces, the little hole in the laces. And just to take great jump man on the tongue, on the heel tab. So real nice, simple colorways, black and gray. Um, happy to have it, but I feel that 190 still doesn't does justify the, the shoe itself. But nonetheless, it's whatever at this point. Uh, that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. Till next time, Downside Player 713 out.